Are you just done with manifesting and trying out thousands of techniques that work for other people but not you? Or have you been affirming nonstop for so many weeks, yet you cannot see any evidence of a shift taking place in your life? I know that is really frustrating. But you have to understand that we take the path of manifesting to make our life easier not to flood our senses with anxiety and overwhelm. So if manifesting is giving you restlessness or even sleepless nights, then this is a time to take a pause and reflect on where you are going. Or an even better idea is to take a pause, catch your breath and your senses, and then come back with a renewed understanding and determination. Manifestation is easy and simple, but when you do it the wrong way or keep making the same mistakes over and over again, you are bound to be caught in a loop of desperation. And I completely understand that trying too hard for something can cause you to burn out. So, this is what I need to tell you first, that you must slow down and catch your breath. You are trying too hard and putting a lot of pressure on yourself and your subconscious mind. And that never really works. Manifestation is not a scheme or a gamble where you come and move out with the prizes in a second. It's rather a lifestyle because it requires some long-term changes in your thinking and perspective. If you are taking it as a shortcut for your problems, then you will never get anything with this. You will never be able to achieve the goals you eagerly desire for yourself, because it goes against the very essence of manifesting. Manifesting is a process, a skill, or an art that you have to understand and apply in your life. Maybe the techniques like affirming or visualizing have you mistaken that you can generate results without learning anything. But I hate to inform you that even the techniques won't work if you don't have the right mindset or are simply too needy. By the way, that brings me to the topic of desperation. This sounds so contrary and ironic, yet the truth is that you can never manifest anything in your life if you are desperate for it. Now don't confuse desperation and passion here. Of course, you need to have a strong passion and desire for what you want. That is the first step of any manifestation, to be really clear about what you want. So, of course, you need to have some degree of passion for your goals, but desperation is the totally opposite energy of what we are talking about here. Desperation means you are in a lack mindset and crazily looking for what you want, and the very first rule of the law of attraction says that you attract who you are being. So, when you are being desperate for your desire, you actually are vibrating at the frequency of lack. Your mind is conscious and focused on the lack of something in your life, and where your focus goes, energy flows. All the energy will be focused on that emotion of lack, and as a result, you will have more scarcity than you have now. You will attract people and experiences that will make you feel the same way. Sounds cruel, but that is how manifestation works. That is why I just said that manifesting is a skill that needs some important mental shifts. Otherwise, you will be running here and there without a single clue about what is really wrong with your approach. But now let me tell you what you should do instead of what you shouldn't do to become well-versed in manifesting. My goal is to make manifestation as easy and natural for you as breathing. And seriously, that can happen only if you are willing to bet on yourself and take a leap of faith. So, which leap of faith am I talking about here? It is to know that you are the only operant power in your reality. There is nothing outside of you that is making your life unfold the way it is. This is like taking responsibility for where you are. But most of us shy away from taking responsibility for anything in our lives. We always want to transfer the blame to the outside, either to some other person, place, or event. Or sometimes we blame our past for how our life is unfolding in the current moment. So, let me make it very clear that all that blaming is a futile exercise because there is just no one creating or impacting your life but your own state of awareness and your own imagination. That's why you must start with accepting this profound truth that you are the god of your reality. Your imagination and focus are creating everything you see and experience in your life. So, for some people, this responsibility might be bad news as they have always been blaming other things or people for their problems. But for a person who is intelligent enough, this revelation is quite empowering. What can be more powerful than knowing that you are the one creating your life experience? What can be more desirable than a realm where no other power can harm or benefit you except your own state of consciousness? Even if you have created a miserable life for yourself till now, still, this understanding that you are the god of your reality gives you the power to change everything.
You can change your destiny and your life experience starting from this very moment. That sure feels so good and empowering to know. Now that you have understood that you are the one doing everything in your life, the next important step is to know how you can take conscious control of everything going on in your life. Do you know how you can take control of your life circumstances and your manifestations? It is so simple. It is by training your perception, imagination, and awareness. Your mind is always thinking of something. But what are those things it's thinking about? And why don't you use your mind to deliberately think about good things in your life? To do that you will first have to connect with the present moment. This is what we call becoming mindful. Most of us are either regretting the past or getting tense over the future. Both of these states are futile and yield no benefit to you in the long run. However, if you take just a few moments to ground yourself in the present moment, you will see that those intrusive thoughts will disappear on their own. When those intrusive thoughts will disappear, you will have control over your mind and its thinking patterns. This is why mindfulness lies at the very foundation of manifestation. Then you must know your desires. What is it that you really want? And if possible, write down a bunch of reasons why you want it. For example, you can say that you want to manifest a red car. The next logical question will be why do you want a car? And why a red car specifically? You need to ask such questions to yourself to really know your desire. Then write down all the reasons why. Maybe you want that red car because it has been your favorite car for so many years, or maybe you want it because you want to give it to someone you love. The reasons you write can sound absolutely nonsensical to anyone else, but in your mind, they should make sense. Why is it important to have reasons? Well, because they compel your mind to think that it is an important and worthwhile goal. When your mind thinks something is really important to you, it focuses your attention and energy on that point. Anyways, the last step is to assume the state of having what you want. Simple and straightforward. It doesn't matter what route you take to get there. It doesn't matter if you affirm or do visualization. It doesn't matter how you get into that end state. All that matters is that you have to get to that state of the wish fulfilled again and again and again until it becomes your default. Until your mind starts believing that you are living in that reality right now in this second. And guess what? Once you get to that state and start thinking and perceiving things from there, you won't feel desperate about your desires. Manifestation will seem like the only natural next step because it is. It really is the most natural phenomenon that's happening all the time. But so few of us are aware of this power we hold inside us and fall prey to the outside world. Imagine how drastically you could shift your life in this instance, only if you are brave enough to know your own power. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.